Right guys, so I found myself in the exact same spot as the last time. Um, back down here on the tall tree swim at Walthamstone for another 24 hour session. So we'll uh, see how we get on. Um, I haven't seen any shows just yet, it's pretty cold at the moment. So uh, we'll see how things go and uh, probably get the rods out in a little while and uh, see if we can see any showing fish and cast onto them. All right. Right guys, so I decided to pitch up here right now in the uh, tall true swim once again. Uh, I had, had a good result, the uh, 27 pound 11 ounce uh, mirror that I had out of here last time. So I thought I'd come back down here again. Um, so I haven't seen any, sh any signs of fish whatsoever. The, um, the sun's come out right now, uh, the wind's blowing right to my face right here. So uh, I might actually move on to the back of the wind depending on uh, how things go as I said. Um, I'm trying to see if I can see any shows at the moment but I've got two rods out, out right now. Um, the middle rod's on a choddy and the left hand rod is just on a simple uh, carp craze mesh bag with a uh, single BM Bates red squid and tangerine boilie. But the one thing I thought I would show you is uh, time of year right now, uh, obviously it's autumn, it's getting colder. Uh, one thing that I find uh, that can really work, hang on, that's Sam again, so let's turn it off for a minute, sorry about that guys. Um, right, one thing I, I thought I'd just tell you about is uh, solid bags, uh, they can be extremely effective this time of year. This is a really, really small little one uh, compared to what I normally would use. You can see uh, 60 by 100 Carp Carré's uh, solid bags there. And uh, what I've got in there is instead of using the uh, normal FT pellets by BM, that in fact is the uh, Autumn pellet. I don't know if you can see there, but the consistency is a lot more different. Um, there's uh, smaller, smaller um, pellets in there, so the oils, especially in the smaller pellets, make the PVA actually break down faster, especially when you've got a 50 50 sort of mix going on, you know. Um, yeah, it just it just helps the PVA just to melt down a bit better. It's a, it's a lot. It's a it's a very very nice pellet, you know. Perfect for the for these little uh, these little and big uh, solid bags, you know. So anyway, yeah, enough talking. I'm gonna get this out there now and uh, see if I can spot some fish. All right. Right guys, so sorry I haven't been updating you guys, um, pretty much pitch black at the moment. Uh, I was in the same swim for a little while, but I've, uh, I have moved quite a while ago now. Uh, I'm down in another swim at the moment, um, quite open water in front of me. I had a few liners earlier on, but uh, nothing really came of that. Um, so I've stuck all three rods out now, uh, two of my simple bottom bait rigs that I always use over here now, and uh, another one just quite close in because I saw a good 20 pounder down the side by the uh, dam, not the dam wall overflow section you can't really fish it at all because it's so cornered off there's ropes there, there's railings there's snags everywhere so there's no chance of getting a rod in there anyway but it's a nice 20 it's very close in just very static didn't even move as soon as it saw shadows which is quite odd for these fish it's normally as soon as they see shadows they bolt but i'll put one close in now as well on a uh, snowman rig just scattered baits over it and uh, we'll see what happens all right
Right guys, so it's now morning. Um, what is it now? It's uh, half ten. So I've been up for a few hours already. Uh, literally the weather's been non-stop havoc. Uh, the wind's been blowing a real gale earlier on. The rain's been really persistent. So I'm literally just sitting in the sleeping bag. I'm soaking wet because I had driving rain in the morning just come in and soak me. Um, so yeah, I'm waiting for this to ease off now. There was no, no activity at all last night really. Uh, alarms didn't go off once. It's quite a surprise, but um, I'm really running it down to the weather at the moment. Uh, it's just gone so cold recently. I reckon the, the carp are just starting to really slow up. Um, hopefully, they'll be, hopefully they'll be getting used to it and they'll realise that they've got to get some food down. So um, yeah, hopefully on the next night's stream down in they might they might get a bit of food on. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. And um, I'll be down at Pig's Farm next weekend. So uh, watch out for that episode. But um, yeah, cheers for watching and I'll uh, see you guys soon. Alright.